Hi, my name's Andy and uh, today I want to share with you uh, this uh, homemade transceiver. It's uh, what we call in the UK homebrew, so uh, uh, a homemade transmitter receiver. Um, made many years ago, I imagine, uh, it could be 30 or 40 years old, uh, have no details about it. That's a sheep in the field next door, not my stomach. Um, So they're all, they're all going to join in there. <laughs> so sorry about that. Say so they're not my sheep. Um, so uh, we'll, we'll get some close-ups, and uh, I'll try and show you as much as I can around this uh, little radio. But uh, I don't have any uh, circuit information. But uh, just whilst it's at a distance, I'll give you some of the physical size of the piece of equipment. Looking at the uh, tuning dial, um, it looks as though it, it's, it's written on uh, this uh, paper in, uh, in biro and that looks like 3.550. Uh, so that, that, that's the 80 meter band and I could uh, well imagine uh, that from uh, the look of the circuit uh, inside so the coils etc. So st starting down in the bottom right hand corner uh, we've got the uh, the jack socket for key and then uh, that says tune uh, jack socket for speakers and then the uh, RX and TX, so receive and transmit, yeah, so uh, receive trim, uh, receive volume, RX volume, and the, uh, the dial itself. I'm working in brilliant sunshine here and it's blinding me, I can't see the actual dial, uh, I can't see the actual back of the camera. Um, not all progress is it guys? Um, a uh, nice little milliamp meter and then uh, PA on and uh, PA milliamps I guess that is the switch and uh, grid voltage and uh, tune and then power so uh, you can imagine a man being really tickled pink when he, uh, he got the first uh, notes out of this can't you seven valves in the equipment that's the back of the front panel That's uh, a little uh, 555 and the little legends is side tone oscillator. That's a real homebrew bit of equipment. Um, none of your black box, none of your Japanese black, black box uh, materials here. This, this guy was really keen to get on the air. <laughs> okay, and uh, on the underside of the chassis, this is, uh, is what we've got. And uh, I'll get some close-ups again. So, looking at this, uh, the, the guy obviously used whatever he could. Look, this is a, uh, a body tip spot uh, resistor. Uh, next to uh, a fairly modern uh, resistor and uh, again over here um, good old-fashioned carbon 
resistors. Uh, but this guy didn't go to all this trouble to make this and then uh, not to actually get it up on the air. Uh, I don't have any other details unfortunately. Um, but uh, I think uh, true dedication to the hobby. <laughs> say look, he used whatever he could. And uh, this is actually a plastic uh, pill bottle. It's had the bottom cut off it and uh, I'm guessing that that's going to be a crystal in there. Uh, so that's the, uh, the, the little thermal jacket for the crystal. Um, say, uh, such a lot of work has, has gone into this uh, for a home brew bit of equipment. And uh, let, let's hope who, whoever built it had uh, uh, one hell of a lot of fun out of it. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you because um, you're probably never going to see another one like that. I'll try and bring you other videos of uh, ham radio equipment and uh, domestic radios and uh, military equipment as the various pieces arrive. So I shall try and make a video so as I can share them with you. Uh, hopefully there will be things of interest and things that you won't normally see anywhere else and uh, so you, you may want to subscribe to my channel to make sure that you uh, don't miss anything uh, thank you for watching my name is Andy the call sign is Golf Whiskey Zero Japan X-Ray Mexico so maybe you'll give me a call if you hear me on the air sometime uh, thanks for watching bye bye